Hey, love bugs, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing best and highly favor. I said best. I'm doing blessed. Being blessed and highly favored. <laughs> and I definitely hope the same for you. So if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended, so beautiful warrior family. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. With that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if um if you've been watching my videos, you know, for a while now, I have not already. Please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. If you feel like you've flown with it and it just gave you something that you really, truly needed, please go ahead and share. You never know. I can do something like that for the next person or even more. And today the video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas, being put in place, uh, being, being put in a position for the spiritual equalizer y'all what i'm saying when i'm telling you when i've been having these crazy visions lately it's like when you're doing so much clearing and acceptance forgiving letting go cutting cords just dropping bombs of you know whatever is not needed in your life anymore and start bringing in so many daggone uploads upgrades you know giving you visions of the next steps to doing all that and when I say, when I was telling the first video, when it was like, uh, what was it about? Are uh, you slaying demons and stuff like that? Um, yesterday, you know, they wanted me to do videos. It's like, if you ain't doing something, you know, you ain't popping. If you, you know, the devil ain't stopping. And it's just like, you know, I, when I'm that type of person, I don't know if you can resonate with that, but it'd be certain things you may hear on the social media platforms, you know, even here on YouTube, uh, or even in the news. I don't like watching news stuff. It's like, you need to be caught up with a current event. And I'm like, look, man, there, there's just too much stuff is going out in this world where it is becoming too much and it's just like certain things that here will pull a wild hair into me because it's like i don't like bullying i don't like people getting over on other people you know and people getting away with certain things is where you know they should have got some more punishment and they didn't and you know i always said man and there'll be certain ones i heard where i said man if they had an equalizer you know, even the guy, I forgot the guy who played it back in the day, but I was like, even my homie, you know, Denzel Washington, he played good on that. I say he's been a good actor, but that movie, but him, between him and Training Day, because, you know, I watched a lot of his movies, and it made me think about The Clean. The Cleaner? I don't know, but it was a recent movie that uh, Adrian Brody did, and when I say, I was like, damn, y'all, because people were like, well, I was like, how was it? I was like, man, look, you know, I represent Denzel all the way. You know, because he's a good actor. And he don't put some, you know, he don't put some weight behind his movie. But this man, Adrian Brody, like, hey, I've been rocking with him for a good minute, too. Because I liked him in Cadillac Records. I don't like him in, uh, what was it, The Predator. Uh, I forgot uh, what other movie he's, he played in. But there's a few other ones he played in. But the only ones I can remember is, you know, uh, The Predator, Cadillac Records, and The, the Cleaner one. Because when I seen him in The Cleaner one, I was like... You know, it was like, I guess it was like the mafia or something. He did something like he started knocking off people's, you know, killing folks left and right. He didn't care, you know. And it was like he was that quiet one. I always tell people, you, you never be intimidated by the loudest one in the room. That one who's just scoping and being quiet while they have every right to be enraged and just scoping. You don't know what they're doing. You know, they clock and stuff. They're doing it in their mind. Those are the ones you need to worry about. Not the loud ones. And it's just like so many different things is going on in the world that we have faced. You know, whatever you have gone through, nobody knows your situation, but you know your situation. You and the people surrounded by it and the people that probably done, you know, enforced it. You know, and those are the things you don't realize. You're becoming that equalizer. You're becoming that enforcement. You're becoming that cleaner. You know, this showing, you know, this is not going to keep continuing. You know, and there's different things, the visions I was seeing. I said it was just going back to the season finale of Buffy and the Vampire Slayer. I love that. I was watching that. You know, uh, what is it, Angel? You know, all those different things. I loved it. You know, and it was just like those visions was popping up. And it was just crazy when it's just like different things I get visions of. You know, they always guide me to talk about it like I got spiritual chills talking about that. And every time I bring something up, so, so you know, it can come up a year or two from now. It can come in two days from now. And different things. And that made me feel like I'm, you know, I'm just, okay, talking on the side of my neck. And be like, boom, somebody will tech connect with me like, Rosalind, you did it again. I'm like, what? You know, look. And they'll send me something. I'm like, oh, damn. You know, and just hoping. You know, I'll be wrong. I'm like, God, dog, why can't God be blessing us with the daggone lottery numbers? Like, nah. 
Should be y'all forever be winning. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna be nobody. There's not psychic or medium and knowing they ain't gonna never win. Y'all always gonna get, and this is not what we're doing this for. This is not for the greater good. But you know, but different things where you're seeing, we're we're like that autocorrect. Like this can't keep going. You know, you represent everything. You you already know what your weak spot is. You already know what your Achilles are. But you already know something that make you tick. Where it makes you go from you know Smurf or Smurfette. You know the Alpha. All of a sudden, you Godzilla and goddamn on uh, King Kong Rampage. You know all those different things to where you just turn into a whole like don't mess with that. You know, and it's just becoming into that where you getting put into place. You're seeing where your fears were, but you're seeing where your fierceness or your power is. You had to be able to go through that. Because it's just like we all want the world to change in some kind of way. You know, where we can all walk down the street where we can't be judged. You know, it's just like, you know, with my mom and them when they were growing up and stuff like that. And it's just like certain parts of me through my growth, through my experience. I remember certain eras in the life. You know, certain ones, it's like when we were segregated and stuff like that. My mom like, hey, watch this. Mm-mm. That's going to get somebody in trouble. I'm not about to watch that. Because last time I watched something, I don't sit up here almost put a girl. Well, I did put a girl's head through a locker blade. So I just don't want to do stupid stuff like that. I'm like, mom, I don't watch stuff like that. You know, because I hated the way people were to other people. You know, but it, it comes to a life where we shouldn't have to worry about our children. You know, you shouldn't have to worry about going to the movie theater. You shouldn't worry about putting your kids in school. You know, now it's just like people doing all these different things. And it's just like, you know, when I watch it and it's just like, you know, the more you open up, you know, you start, you start feeling those different feelings that other people are when their children are missing or you don't know what happened to your family or, you know, you're wanting answers or you're wanting somebody to be responsible for certain things that took place, you know, and it's becoming that to where we're starting to cleanse, not just ourselves. It had to start with us first, you know, because a lot of times we feel like it's us against the world. No, it's us against the old us. You know, we don't live at a frequency and a vibration and in a, in a vibe for so long when the universe is guiding you to step up either step up or step back but you ain't gonna be able to step back because they're gonna push you right back up to step up again you know so these are all the different things when we want to change we have to be that change that we want to see in the world not placing judgment on people it, you know we got a bad seed in every race every nationality every culture we have that but a lot of times certain things will happen in the world and it could be a, a certain crowd and all of a sudden, we're judging everything that came past that. Not saying that, hey, these people are probably for us and got tired for that too. Embarrassed probably. You know, that their their culture or their race or their, you know, whatever it is, their orientation made them look bad for the rest of them. You know, where we can be, you know, in unity. Never divided again by skin complexion or wherever, we, where we ever, you know, wherever walks of life where we're from. Whether somebody wants a sex change or you know wants same sex or whatever that we ain't we ain't judging people like that, you know. And these is where the equalizers are getting placed, you know. Because when I tell when I tell you these visions is getting been very intense, you're seeing how it's like the darkness is wrapping up around people you know you going through different things where you're all in your head because it's like when i seen it when i seen people's hands all over their head and all this darkness is around them it's you fighting your old demons you know you're fighting your old part of yourself you know the different things that you're going through the different things you're not allowing yourself to accept to say this is going to be that power that's going to be your power tool is that punishment that you went through that's going to recreate you as that no limit soldier like there's no limits that you are not going to allow yourself to go through you're allowing yourself to not invest in those fears anymore you're letting that go and letting that be a fuel for you to be able to maintain who you really are to the core and for that to happen, you had to be able to go through these things. You had to be able to experience. When you went through the worst, knowing you can manifest the best. And for us to do that, you had to, it had to hit home first. So it's like when I'm seeing these different visions, I'm seeing how, you know, it, it keeps us keeps us awake at night where we're allowing our concerns our fears our doubts and all this consume on how we how we approach things how we go through things are we allowing ourselves to move forward or are we being cautious about what other people are doing and then on top of that you see visions about the enemy 
you know, coming together and being able, oh, you know, they fear this, they did that, they did this. This is how we got to keep going. We got to be able to trigger this. We got to be able to block this. We got to be able to sabotage this. And it was just like more of our vibrations worrying more about what the enemy is doing. Then it got to that point where you're seeing where some of the other empath warriors already went through that, gone through it, been there, done that. They're at that top tier level on that next one where they had to be able to say enough is enough. I'm tired of this. I'm not, you know, I'm fighting for my real me. I'm fighting for that, you know, that authentic authenticity of what I carry, what I represent, what I own, what I claim. You know, and all these different things where they're slaying demons, they're slaying their fears, their issues, their problems, what chose, what, you know, what their addictions, all these different things. Well, I'm seeing it, it's like a whole bunch of chaos. But then when we're able to see it, there are some warriors that are, you know, they're anticipating, you know, by helping them do this. But there are ancestors are around us watching everything that's going on like we're on a snow globe. And they're just cheering on. They're saying now they're finally seeing this and then the next you know where the other ones is coming out the dirt and this has been going on for the last two three years you know you've been with me for a while you've heard me here uh say there was empaths while i got these vibrations and, and visions of empaths coming out of the dirt that's basically like you've been in the dark for a long time you had to be able to go through these things you were you were fighting with addictions you were fighting with the old you were fighting with doubts fears and all these different things that was your own personal demons you know and you allowed that to the strengthen you you know, we are like the DC Comics and stuff like that. But that's what makes you fearful. That makes you fearful. You know, not you being fearful like you fear yourself. But that's making the enemy fear you. Because the fact is, you done gone through some stuff and you actually conquered something that was built to destroy you. You know, these are the things that's building you up to where you can be untouchable. You can come all, you know, come on with the come through and ain't going to be able to stop nothing. You full-fledged like, nah, not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year. You know, I got this. I done been through the worst of the worst. There's nothing else you can do except help me rise up to that next occasion. That's what these issues did. This is what these fears did. This is what my doubts did. You know, it gained confidence. It gained strength. It gave me knowledge to know I can do this. You know, and so all these different things are coming where you're a cleaner. You're, you know, you're, you're a gatekeeper. You're that warrior that, you know, that, that keeps tallies on the records. You know, all these different things. Like, this is what you've been doing for many 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 things you know and you had to go through this so many times because there's a lot of things that we go through that feel like deja vu this could feel foreign but then that soul is very familiarized with all those different things you know you start seeing stuff when we start stop focusing on things that are out of our control and we start focusing on what we can control what we can change what we can heal from then all of a sudden all that 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 knowledge start coming in we're not we're not fighting it. We're not standing in the way of the process of the progress. So all these different things is taking place, you know, where you're speaking out now, you know, because a lot of times we fear to speak out because we thought we'd be eliminated or different things. We worried about what people would say, what people think, what kind of, you know, what they try to sabotage us in some kind of way. And now you're allowing yourself to, you can't, you can't be fearing that. There's always going to be somebody that's going to try to stop you. You know, there's always going to be somebody that's going to speak negative of you. There's always going to be somebody that's going to work their way to sabotage you. And these are all these different things that, you know, created you to be you. You know, because if we all focus on those, you know, all, all on those things that are not, you know, that's out of our, our, our vibration, out of our control, we'll be doomed for days. You know, and that's the reason why a lot of things are always like they are. You know, there's so much knowledge and certain things that's been done, you know, in cross service of hands and very powerful hands. And all of a sudden, suicide. Some people don't, you know, heart attack, you know, and all all these certain things is coming up because they're scared somebody's going to say the wrong thing is going to put shed light on some stuff. So they're eliminating a lot of different things and a lot of stuff is still starting to come out. You know, we going through that thousand forty four where they set in place and a lot of things and you start seeing if anybody started looking down at the things where a thousand forty four are, you know, um, you'll start seeing the different categories as things is coming out, you know, where you know, currency when it comes to money, things used to be that thing where you can uh you know, I can pay you how much is gonna you know, how much money I gotta pay you for this to disappear. How much money I got to put in for make sure this follows in my line? How much of this? Now, you know, currency was important back then. Now it's just like you can be the most richest person in the world. And you done did the wrong thing because you don't got comfortable and keep doing it. Because a lot of times, that's how people get caught up. You know, 
that they have done so many different things they got comfortable by automatically figuring out oh I can make this disappear let me go ahead and do this and boom next thing you know all your skeletons done came out of the closet you looking like a whole poltergeist of legacy return of the living dead and night of the living dead all them George Romero movies all your skeletons are out you know they having a picnic you know all those different things but these are the things that's coming up if you haven't had dreams you know the fire rituals is coming up you know, because a lot of times, you know, you see all this war paint coming on. If you know you weren't really educated about the war, war paint, what it represents, you you know, the different totems, the, you know, the totem poles. You know, I'm starting to see all these weird things that's coming up. Well, it's not weird. It's just certain things that within the, you know, the visions that I get, the dreams that I have, where it's coming up. Where a lot of us are at these, you know, like, we're, we're summoned to come to these things. And they're showing you this is at that level you're at. To where now you stepping up and you you get more of your you know you get more of your entitlement you get more of what you know what you're representing because you know all of our our our, our spirit guys are all around us when all these things are happening and they know this stuff is not easy that's why they had to mix them hybrids they had to cross breed some kind of where some kind of place because it's just the fact is like uh like when it comes to our tribes and stuff a lot of stuff is sacred. You know, a lot of things are sacred, but they know they had to step out of bounds for that because I know a lot of the different things is like a hush hush. You know, there's different, you know, ways that, you know, they're having meetings where it shows one thing, but it's a totally different thing. You know, because I have dreams about that. Next, you know, I started looking, I'm like, whoa, you know, how was I able to know these different things? But it's just like when you were coming up in that vibration, you know, our elders you know are doing different things but they already knew it was going to be an ultimate time where change had to be you know a, a must a change had to be a must but for that to happen they had to have hybrids where you had to be hidden in plain sight you had to be looking at a certain way you know different things where it's being second guessed for those things to happen in the way they were so for these things to take place you had to be hidden in plain sight you couldn't look like what you were you know and that's how you gonna get over on the enemy so all these different things are happening where fire rituals, you could be seeing it through meditation. You can see it through daydreams. You can see it um, especially through your dreams. Because dreams are starting getting very vivid. When you start doing a lot of clearing and going through these uh, changes, you know, from the, the portals being open, the whatever moon that it is, it's like opening new, at, you know, the vibrations and the atmosphere is going through fierce change, you know planets come into alignment because you feel something is big is coming something is taking place but you're seeing how every time you turn around there's like mass transition i'll put it that way you know what i'm talking about you know people coming up they ain't in the union no more put it that way you know there's certain things on youtube you can't be saying you know but there's there's a lot of mass something that's taking place if it's not in a school it's in a church if it's not in a church it's in a mall it's at a fair you know it's at a concert all those different things you're seeing it and a big cluster of it and it's being we're being placed so these are the things we're keeping your you know eye out for you know you're going through a lot of spiritual changes hot cold you know you're getting sick body aches and stuff like that purges your, your you know your elevation of emotions are getting highly sensitive there are certain things that you are not tolerating that you are okay with before even the change of your food it is really not you know agreeing with you you know getting probably major toothaches you know you're getting headaches and stuff like that and all these different changes are happening because you're you know you're being molded into that equalizer you're going to to that spiritual cleaner you know for all these different things because it's like i even see you know these different totem poles that are standing in where they're telling you a story you know and it's just a high top tier level of our tribe is coming out and they're telling you different things where okay you done passed a certain stage now it's time for you to know this you know i see a lot of us warriors walking around with owls you know uh wolves different things running through the forest you know you seeing different things that you know we weren't able to see before they were there before but now you're at that vibration where you you know your eyesight is getting different you know you may be feeling that now it's like you know you probably need to go get your eyes like why my eyes are being foggy or why you know my 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 vision is changing so a lot of things is moving fast so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all want to give a post notification shout out to my jamal jackson uh christina flaherty and uh anna i 
Much love to you. Um, I hope you have a blessed safe weekend. Please be responsible for everything you do. And if you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Broaden your your uh, you know your knowledge about your power of purpose and where it could be leading you to. What are certain things that you need to shed light on? Um, you know, I'll try my best to help out the best way I can, either from experience or what universe it tends to guide me towards. Whatever we speak on is confidential, and I'll help out the best way I can. I'll leave the link to my podcast as well. Um, and if you ever feel generous enough, you know, to drop a donation, Cash App is there as, as well, too. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, I'm putting so many uplifting vibrations, comfort, healing, whatever you're needing to get through, to get through, you know, don't give up on yourself, don't slack on yourself, and definitely don't sleep on yourself. Don't live in a world of regret by giving up. You never know what God's going to bless you with if you don't stay persistent and consistent. You never know what you got around that corner. Because it could be, you know, you could be getting blessed, you know, sooner than you expect it. And even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things really take you a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.